Let me get you. Let me get you. Do you dance, girl? Yeah, girl. Reason I have never said I do is because I don't. I've, I've been married, um, and I, I I couldn't sign up for bad sex. That's right. Hey, girl, you dance, girl. Oh, yeah, so if we enter a relationship with anything that's about me, 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 then I don't believe that we're ready. We have the smooches, models. Smooches is just not a greeting anymore. It is a movement. And we're here to talk about smooches where size does matter. And when we talk about size, we, we talk about size a few times. But this time, I want to talk about sex and size and how it can affect your sex life. Why? Because you know what? Everybody everywhere is talking about sex. Has anybody had sex recently? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. I think we're gonna have some two. Oh, wait, 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 we got sex. Oh my goodness, the married man has had sex. Woo! It was a long and, time coming. And, and I'm not the only one that has moved my status from uh, from single to in a relationship. Miss Tasty Tamara has moved her, her status. Woo! And, 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 and she, she's had some sex, right? She's had some sex. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and that's why she couldn't get here on time. But anyway. Anyway, so when you talk about uh, sex and size, um, I want to talk to uh, Miss Shante Bradley. She is the founder, CEO behind Smooch's Models. Do you ever think about your size when it comes to having sex? The wiggles and the jiggles and boop, boop, boop. And <laughs> She's married, though, y'all. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I am married. I've been married for 22 years. Oh. And she's stalling because she doesn't want to answer the question, and she's still trying to get it's it together. Like, that's what you do. You put yeah, somebody like, uh, yeah. I'm still trying to get that question together. <laughs> well, I don't really think size matters. I think uh, as you get bitter, bigger, it gets better. What? Oh. I don't all right, all right. She says when it gets back. I'm going to stick to that. Okay, she Well, you know that. what? I want some real answer, Danielle well, F. Patterson. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you this, because actually, this has been a conversation I've had with quite a few gentlemen, and we've been having the can the big girls take the D conversation. Because it's like the, are the little girls handling better, or the big girls handling better? And I said it was really, really funny, because what it came down to was the dudes with the little, little Ds, they had, they had, you know, they, they was having depth problems. Because <laughs> there is a, such a thing, and this is, you know, this is my theory. Oh, no, I'm gonna tell you, this is my, this is my, this is my theory. theory. And this is because me and my friends go out, and I got, I have a friend who's like petite, and you know, I'm like an Amazon, and she wants to know why she keep getting all the little D dudes. And so she was dating this dude with his little D, and I mean, when I say his little, the joint was falling out. You, you couldn't, you didn't have to cough it out; it would just fall out. So, she, <laughs> but anyway, so what happened was, she, I told her that I say that there is a booty to D ratio. That if you got a certain booty, the dude with the little D know he can't get in there because you got to kind of lift it up and turn it over. Like, he know that, that, that the ratio ain't working out for him. So he stays away from the big booty girl. This is my theory. So the reason I've decided that my theory is correct, so she was sitting with dude with little D. And this John with a Danielle booty walked by. And he followed that booty all the way down the aisle. And she was like, oh, I thought you didn't like them. He said, I like them. I know I ain't doing nothing with that. So I'm saying that I think that dudes know, and that's why we had a controversy. Do you hear that, Carol? Do you hear okay. that, Carol? Uh, you know what she said? Why you gotta ask me about this? <laughs> <laughs> You've been married. I'm not officially profiled right now. <laughs> wait, 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 Carol. You got a big booty Carol, for no, a white girl. Oh, no, no, no. Carol is. You, you got a big booty for a white girl, so. Yes. Thank you. I know. Do my squats every day. Work yeah, it out. I really do every day, and it works. Um, I guess there's a point to the theory, but then it's kind of like, what do you go for as a woman? If I'm not going to go for a skinny little short guy, but I'm also a tall woman. So I've been very blessed to know very tall men who. You know, the ratio of tallness and 
other body parts just happen. No, that is not true. That's that not true. No, that's that is a fallacy. That's a, no, that's as much of a fallacy as measuring feet and looking at hands. That's as much of a fallacy as anything else. But let us work know. for me. Can I ask a question? Know, are we it, it, talking about little D's or are we talking about weight? Signs. Are we well, we about were just talking about why, the, when I was saying that, that we had this conversation amongst the men about the, the dudes that talking about they couldn't get down with the big girl or they felt like, you know, the big girls couldn't handle the D. Now, and now, if you want to ask me whether or not... The D. Yeah. The D sounds... No, the so penis we can say is the correct The D yeah. almost sounds like you about to say it. <laughs> no, I just say the D. What? I ain't, I ain't say the rest of it. It sounds like you did. It did. Uh, Every time you say it, it sounds like you're saying it. Oh, that's because y'all want me to. <laughs> well, well, one thing you gotta realize too, Danielle, that a man has absolutely no idea what men you've been with previously. Mm -hmm. Because a guy could have size with one woman, another woman, he's just okay. No, y'all know, 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 know when they got a little penis. They know when they got a little penis. Stop but it. It's the difference between but, little Stop and, it. They know when they got a little penis. But who determines that? A woman, the woman that you're with. No, it's not. Little penis right, is a little penis is a little penis. It depends on the woman. I'm not sure where we get the penis and the size came from, however. Oh, because size and penis go together. Size and penis. Now, see, when I, I think that uh, David himself likes the, the thin type of woman. I, I see your type. No, nah, I see what you look at. No, nah, I see Man, you, I we want, met, we I met want, the chick that, that informed us entirely. I want uh, excuse a leg and thigh player, yeah, not no, a wing excuse dinner. me, excuse me. Ex so, you know, David had a party. Yes, David had a party. They, I ain't even make oh, it into wow. the building. It was like, step, step, hello, I am, I don't even know what she said, I'm David's girlfriend. I'm like, hey, hey. That's a whole topic <laughs> right like, here. I was like, oh. Excuse me, David, I have to co-sign on that. <laughs> because no. I thought she was with uh, Mr. Oliver. So Mr. Oliver was like, oh, no, 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 she's not with me. Come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And wait she, a minute. Wait a minute. And then she let me know. I'm here with David. Oh, okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. She right. walked up to me like, hey, Shell. I was like, hey, girl, what's up? Because I don't know who you are. I know you are back. <laughs> <laughs> you hear them on said, me. I'm David's girlfriend. They but I would never uh -huh. put them out there like that. But see, that's a whole other right. topic right there when it comes down to who's not alerted that you're not or you are or not the girlfriend. But when we come back, <laughs> we still, <laughs> we still ooh, talking. Ooh, ooh, no, no, I'm going to tell you. Best line I heard all week. So I went to that Marvin Gaye play and, and do hit her with this one. You, you may be my wife. You got the title. You got the title, but, but you, you don't, don't fit the, the description. description. Let me get I was like, I said, woo, I, I want to say that to somebody. <laughs> so I need to tell somebody they are not filling the position because they got a little dick. <gasps> Ooh. Wow. I don't want to say it to nobody in particular because I ain't had this situation occur. But, you know, I just feel like I'm waiting on this situation. Ooh, wait a minute. It's a, it's a single on a Saturday night, the anniversary edition. We have smooches, models, not just the salutation. It is a movement. We're talking about does size matter, and I guess size matters to some people. We like to thank everybody who helps us put the show together from Dr. Shock and Austin Fine Photography. They have the boudoir pictures now. So you have to look them up online and like their Facebook page because the boudoir pictures are very nice. Austin Fine Photography. DJ Romy Rome, he's not here today. We got to thank him anyway. And Howard Gilliam Jr., I never have a chance to really thank you, but it is his birthday, and not just because it's your birthday, I thank you, but I thank you every single day of my life for the last 20, 30, 10 years. 10. Sorry, 10 years. 10 years. That's what happens <laughs> in a relationship. You get stupid. 10 years. Happy birthday to Howard Gilliam Jr. And we will come back single on a Saturday night, and we are having a good time right here at Kid Gray's Seafood and Steak Restaurant. Hey, what's up, everybody? You are watching Single on a Saturday Night, and we couldn't do it without great people who help us make it happen. And I'm with, I'm, I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. My name is Helena, and I'm the owner of Cheat With Me, which is an addictive dessert um, business. And my signature dessert is banana pudding. When she says addictive, right, I just can't live without her. Peach cobbler, it is so great. But to Cheat With Me, is it? how can I get in touch with you? My website is cheatwithme.com, and that's two E's on me. And I'm also on Instagram at cheatwithme, or you can like my Facebook page, Cheat With Me. And I believe you have a spot, aren't you? Aren't you? Can't you get uh, come down to a certain location? No, I'm in a few um, restaurants. You can get my desserts on Lancaster Avenue at a pizza shop called Melly Moe's. That's at 44th and Lancaster Avenue.
Well, all right, that's cheat with me with the two e's dot com, and it's delicious. Um, I, I heard you had something for me. Look, she had famous peach cobbler that she loves. She gave me my very own peach cobbler for my birthday, and I am so appreciative. Thank you. You see that? I'm about to tear it up. This is Cheat With Me. We are, you are watching Single on a Saturday Night. Please support those who support us so we can keep seeing you, all right? Single on a Saturday Night. Special thanks to Q's Hair Boutique, located at 5815 North Broad Street, Philadelphia, PA. Q's Hair Boutique is a full-service salon providing the star treatment for any occasion. Please, don't look any further for your next hair appointment. Call Q's Hair Boutique. That's 215 Six six eight nine eight zero zero. In true celebrity fashion, Austin Photography snapped beautiful candidates of all the single on a Saturday night group. Austin Fine Photography is located at 4221 Main Street. If you would like to feel like a star, please call Austin Fine Photography at 267-297-7895. This program is brought to you by the following sponsors. Do you want to advertise your product or your service or your event right here in between the hottest show in America? Give us a call at 215-843-1984. Give us a call. If everything's a go, we'll have your commercial advertised on the next show. Ink is hot and here on Single on a Saturday Night. And Single on a Saturday Night is not just for single people. Don't get afraid of the word single. You can be single, just not married. And also, this is for everyone with your married, single, divorce, whatever it is. Watch this show, because you don't want to watch anything else. Single on a Saturday Night, we're talking about Smooch's models are here. We're going to we're gonna go in depth and find out more about them. But right now, we're trying to find does size matter when it comes to sex? The best sex you ever had? Does it matter whether you're, you're big and you're jiggling all over the place? Does, you, does, it, does it affect you? And I want to talk to somebody in the audience talking talk about size and matter. Well, but we won't uh, go too far into size because I think we did this already. I know. Well, just on a personal note, size doesn't matter too much as long as if it's not too small, if it's not too big, there is a range where size Size doesn't matter. It's a whole range. But when you get into the, you know, 10, 12, size does matter. Two, three, it does. But six, seven, eight, nine, you know, all that, it don't matter. But anyway, the average size of a penis, a male penis, is six and a half to seven inches with two and a half girth. That's average, average, average. So just so you know, if all you're more than that, around. you could be above average. If you're less than that, you're below average. Just giving you some numbers so you guys, when you're stepping to a young lady and she's saying every bit guy she had was 8 to 10, you know, she's working with something that's above average all the time. All that y'all need to do is go <laughs> home and get your Comcast remote and sit there. <laughs> and then you take a measurement. If you're looking like the Comcast remote, it's looking good. If you're not... <laughs> Then you got a little problem. Well, but I'm a little problem. So wait, 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 more proportion, more pleasure. And I think that's why oh, men you. look or I, the big girl with, you know what, I, I'm, I'm gonna handle that. I'm, I'm gonna try to handle that. He gonna handle it. He gonna handle it. Right. More, the bigger, the more proportion, more pleasure. What you say? Right. I would agree. I think that that's what you should see when you look. Um, and I also think that the, um, I, <laughs> I think that the size, as you were speaking about earlier, of course that does matter, but we are speaking about the women and if you know what their size is. And I, if that, I think we speak about the men too, because when Papa come with his gut, he can keep that over there. Yes. Because <laughs> when your when your gut the, stick out further, then you know we got a problem. Okay. So speaking for a woman, from a woman with the, the extra, 
I think personally that um, we the the extra is good for the handling. I think it makes for good love making, and I do believe that um, you can work with a man depending on how much he has. He doesn't necessarily have to be a Comcast remote control, but he definitely should have something there. He shouldn't have to also hold it between his, his two fingers to take the picture, because then that's, that's not a good look. When, well, I, when I was doing some research, when up. I was talking about the size, um, it was saying that people who have, who are, you know, plus size or a size above, they're saying that it, help, it hurts our stamina, that we don't have what it takes to really keep going, that we can't, if we lost about 10 pounds, we might be able to have a, a, a stronger stamina and we can keep going. That's what the research so said. What the doctor <laughs> said that it, this is what it said. Do you agree or do you, this is what I, this is the research, I went and researched this whole subject. Well, I think this, that as society, that is a weight obsessed. We're told everything about life, if you drop 10 pounds, it's gonna be better. Everything is going to be better. You're going to feel better about yourself. Apparently, as soon as I drop 10 pounds, I'm going to run a marathon. As soon as I drop 10 pounds, I'm going to get the man of my dreams. As soon as I drop 10 pounds, my attitude and my self-esteem going to go up. And apparently, as soon as I drop 10 pounds, I'm going to drop it like it's hot and not need help picking it back up. But I, don't, I disagree with that. And I just say it. No, I disagree. And this is the reason I disagree. I feel like I'm coming in, and I'm just getting ready to give you all of this right here to work in. And if you can't work it out, that sounds like your problem, not mine. But you know what? I got a question because who, who sets the standards of what's big and what's small? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I love thick women. I, if you were size 14 to 22, 24, I love you. I don't think you're a plus. I think you're just right. To me, you're average. Okay. You know what I'm saying? To, to me. I'm glad but you brought that up. Very I think good. the yes. only thing is I don't need you looking like the letter P with legs or the letter B with legs. And, and meaning you got all of this, but you have nothing, uh, you're not proportioned. Or you got all of this, and if I tap you on your back, you're going to go rolling over. And that's personal You understand what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't, I think you need to be proportioned. I think you need to be proportioned. Now, a woman with a real big booty, the average size man or, or penis, he's going to have trouble if he's trying to do it from the back because you got all that behind pushing you out. That's you you understand saying. what I'm saying? You got all that behind, so that means you got to lift and spread in order to try to get, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm just, you I'm lift just and get being real. You do. You got to lift and spread. And that's your I'm, personal, I'm just saying. personal preference. But, but you can't, wait a minute. You can't blame it all on the women you talking about lifting up the butt. What about the gut? There's sometimes that could get in the way. You're right, and, and I, I'm not blaming it on the women. So I'm just but, saying, but don't go I'm just together. saying, so you if you, one what one I'm one saying one is, one if one you one don't one have an average size, if you're not average size for a man, mm -hmm. I hope I can stand up, but you trying to get up under there, like, because okay. you can't, <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? You trying to get and up under there. It goes back to physical Chris, fitness again, and stamina. Again, you can go, so you, you can go to the side. Wait, oh, so you I'm good. I'm not saying me. You be, I'm you good. Be lifting and twirling and swirling it around and but, throwing it around. But you know what's, you know, what but you know what's you? funny? That happened to me. Are you going to be lifting and twirling and swirling around? Look, I'm a girl. You're not going to have a problem. But see, I'm a girl. But so, with we're skinny, I've had, I've had thin women. I'm sorry. My people, come on. I've had, I've had thinner women and I've had thicker women. The only advantage for a small woman being a man is you can carry her around and do things with. That's Unless you're extra That's strong. Not That's not true. You, and you got a strong back. Unless you're extra strong you know and extra saying. tall. Wait a minute. We're going to go to the audience real quick. We, we got to go to the audience because, you know, extra strong and extra. <laughs> extra. Go ahead, All right. Well, <laughs> I'm not the devil's advocate, but size does matter to me in reference to physique. Um, I'm just a visual person, so if my husband was sloppy and overweight, I wouldn't have been attracted to him. If I'm not attracted to him, I can't see myself having sex with him. So he needs to visually stimulate me like that of a Tyrese or a Tay Diggs. Oh, yes. And that was why I was interested in him in the first place. 
Yes, yeah, I, I saw a picture of your husband. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't no disrespect, but he is in your ass. So, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so that that matter. If if I'm gonna have sex with you, I gotta look at you like I wanna bite you, and I wanted to bite him. And before we got married, I bit him, and I didn't even realize who. So that did matter. He had to be like that. And in reference to me, um, size mattered in reference with me having sex with my husband because. Um, I just lost over 35 pounds, and so this is just me, my personal self. You know, if you if you cool where you at and you get it in, then that's you. But me, my personal self, I had to, you know, get back to what was best for me because I feel better in the inside and in the outside. I could go longer. I could do more. You know what I mean? All these positions that he be thinking about, we could actually do them, and I don't feel like, yo, my back hurt. So me having the extra weight on me made me uncomfortable. And so, if I don't Thank feel sexy, I don't I do saying. sexy. And I agree you with that. That's all and I that's was trying me. to say. It is a real thing. That's the truth. I don't care. We're not as you're not as big as me, so it does. It does affect you. I don't care what anybody says. We can't go. It, you you might be a marathon runner. We can go to Tasty because I know she she she, she I right there. So, but you may not be a marathon runner or whatever. But it is that weight does hold you down. It holds you back from a lot of positions. I am sorry. It I. I love being big. I love being who I appreciate who I am. But yes, losing weight would help the sex life. Yes, it would. I'm sorry it would. Tasty. Tasty though. <laughs> Tasty on the other Tasty. hand is, is, is in great shape. Yes, yeah, she's in great shape. Uh, you know, go ahead, Tasty. I'm sorry, Tasty. Go ahead. Again, like Sis just touched on, it's an individual choice and in where you are. You guys been out with me. I oh, my heaviest. You guys met me. You guys met me at 295. Yes, still dropping it like it's hot. Stamina is okay. Mm -hmm. Lost 25 pounds. Stamina is that much more better than what it was before. But it's, it all depends on where you are and who your partner is. And at my heaviest, yes, I have been tossed and twirled. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I've done some little girl stuff. <laughs> Believe me, it's all in the individual and what you what you want in your mate and what you guys do together. But my thing is, the more you get it in, the more stamina you're going to build up. And trust me, it ain't about you dropping the pounds. It's what you do with what you have. Whoa! And what you do that, on that note, we're going to go to a break. We're going to come back. We're going to come back and find out if it affects anyone, their size, if it affected their stamina. When we come back, the single on a Saturday night, thank you to everyone who helps us put the show together. Of course, Q's Hair Boutique, 5815 North Broad Street, and Austin Fine Photography, Dr. Shock, VJ Romy Rome, even JT Wilcox and Idilly Productions, and don't forget to check out Issues, the Pink Boutique, for all your girly wants and needs. South Street on 6, 160 South 60th Street. I'm sorry, I always forget that. And Smooches is here today, so anybody want to be a model out there and, and you're 10 and above, size 10 and above, 10 and up, 10 and up you could be a Smooches model. And you know, we're, we're talking about size this time, but next time we're going to talk about what it takes to be a plus size model. Is that what you call them? Plus size? Plus size. Full figure model. This is single on a Saturday night right here at Kid Gray's Seafood and Steak Restaurant in the historical borough of Darby, PA. Mm. Special thanks to Q's Hair Boutique, located at 5815 North Broad Street, Philadelphia, PA. Q's Hair Boutique is a full service salon providing the star treatment for any occasion. Please don't look any further for your next hair appointment. Call Q's Hair Boutique. That's 215. 668-9800. In true celebrity fashion, Austin Photography snapped beautiful candidates of all the single on the Saturday night group. Austin Fine Photography is located at 4221 Main Street. If you would like to feel like a star, please call Austin Fine Photography at 267-297-7895. This program is brought to you by the following sponsors. Do you want to advertise your product or your service or your event right here in between the hottest show in America? Give us a call at 215-843-1984. Give us a call. If everything's a go, we'll have your commercial advertised on the next show. Welcome back to Single on a Saturday Night right here at Comcast 66, Rising 29, and also 
all over your box on YouTube. So wherever, internet, all over the world, here you are. This is where we are. And like I said, we're killing it in Germany, France. We're just killing it all over. Anyway, we're going to get right into the topic. We're talking about does your size affect your stamina, whether you can keep on going, whether you keep it moving. And I think someone had a comment. I think it was uh, you, Carol. Right. I wanted to agree with what uh, Miss Lisa said because I know personally for me, if I know my body is right and I feel good, like my abs are tight, my body is looking good, I'm going to enjoy sex on a whole different level as opposed to when I'm like, all right, I got a little roll here. Like, don't do this. Don't do that. Like, I know for me personally, when my body is right, I'm going to do all types of extra stuff that I wouldn't do. Yeah, I'm going to jump in there. Other, no, 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 I'm not finished. I'm not finished. And Miss Danielle and other people feel differently about their own bodies. But I know for me, it takes for me to have I don't know, let's say great abs for me to just be doing all types of extra stuff and really let myself go sexually. And you know, other women feel differently about their body, but I know that for me, being in shape, being fit and working out, it plays a major part in my sex life, so. I, I, I just really think that's sad. I do, that's, I say that's sad and I just say that for this reason. You should not be having sex if you are not comfortable with your partner. And that's just where I am with it, period. Because when I choose to lay down with a man, when I get to that point when I'm, I don't care about any ripple, dimple, any other thing. Right. Lift yeah. it up, push it over. What, it's about me what? and how I feel I'm about saying, me. Like, you know, no, 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 no. they told me not to interrupt you, so don't interrupt me. But, so what I'm going to say is that we need to be comfortable with our person before we decide we're going to lay down with anybody. Because you know what? It's like this. Your ass might be tight today, but baby, you ain't going to be 25 forever. And you know what? It don't matter 24. how much working on your abs you do. Once you do, once you have a baby, your whole body changes. Your hips going to spread. Your bone structure changes. Uh, things going to drop. The places you ain't never known, you're going to have to lift some things up that you ain't never want to have, that you ain't never want to know about. It's you know, not so about the other just, person. It just becomes that thing that you have to be comfortable in your own skin. I'm not saying that we couldn't all feel like we look better <laughs> or we could all feel like we want to drop some weight. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying, the question really is, do you feel like right now, wherever you are right now, could you have an enjoyable sex life and do you feel like it's in the way? And I can just say unequivocally, no. I feel good about me every day. I feel good about me 35 pounds ago. I feel good about me right now. And you know what? If you with me, you better have liked me 35 pounds ago and you better like me now. Well, what I wanted to say was I agree with both of you. I used to be a size zero, one, two, and I was comfortable. I was happy that I was having sex and looking good. Then I had a baby. And I was like 160, and I went up to a size 5. Then I went up to a size 10. Then I went up to a size 11. I wasn't comfortable at first. But then when I, went, I met the person, like you said, get to know him, he want me. He's lusting over me. He's chasing me. He want it. So I gave it to him, and I gave him all of it. So, I mean, I feel like if you can work it, if you can work it big, and you know how to, you know, get both of y'all. If y'all, y'all got to have a chemistry. He got to know how to. Get you off, you gotta know how to get him off. Y'all, it would be great sex if y'all both get each other off. If one person just getting it and he got a big thing and he just doing it and you just laying there, it ain't gonna be good just because this thing is big. It gotta be good because y'all mm -hmm. both putting in the work. Whether you skinny, tall, fat, medium, small, y'all both gotta put in the work. That's how I feel. I agree, right? and me, I, but I understand what she's saying. It's I not about the other she's person. Saying. She's to saying me, about herself personally, which is still sad mm -hmm. because at the end of the day. You don't know what could happen to you in a year from now. You still have to be comfortable with yourself. You still have to feel that you're still sexy. We've all been different sizes. We've all went up. We all went down. But you feel good right now because you do work out and you do like to see your abs and all that wonderful stuff. So what you're saying is that if you don't have those abs in two years, you're not going to have sex anymore because you just don't feel sexy about yourself anymore. You That's not what I'm saying. It's not about the other person. But if I know I can be better, then I'm going to strive to be better for me. And and that's how I'm most comfortable. So I'm not going to choose to be less comfortable when I know what I can do to make myself happy and make myself be more sexually free. Why would I choose to do that? No, not a choice. It's not about the other person. I was big. I used to be big. And I, I was happy, too. But then I'm like, oh, wait, I like being skinnier. I like working out. And that makes me happy. It's not about the other person. Right. Not I about the other find, person I at all. I can find people I'm speaking about size. how you feel about yourself, though. I'm not but speaking I'm, about the other I'm person. I'm very happy. And if I know that. But you happy if either I do, way? I was. But I feel like if I can do something that makes me just happier and 
brings me closer to where I want to be, why wouldn't I do it? Why would I choose to not do it? I have my product, and I'm not coming at nobody. No, wait, 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 no, 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 let me say this. Let me say this. I'm not coming at nobody. No, wait, let me say this. Hold on, let me talk. Let me talk for a second. I hear what you're saying. You're right. There is something missing in, in some people. Like, why can't I do more? I want to lose weight, but I don't have that stamina. Something is nothing. Something's in me that's keeping me from having that drive that she has. I wish I could say I'm gonna do all that it takes to get there, so I can think about my ass. No, I be thinking about I want to lose weight every day. I'm thinking, God, I would love to lose weight, but something in me is keeping me from having what she has. I don't How have... do you feel about yourself? Oh, I'm beautiful all day, every day. Exactly. But that's, that's, what keep, that's what keeping you... <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying it like that, no, but no, I'm just saying no. I believe I'm beautiful all no, day, but I want to no. lose weight. This is the issue. This is the issue. Is that, you know, when I talk to psychologists, one of those things is that you can't tell Danielle that she ain't fabulous. So I have a different body dysmorphia. You can't tell me I'm not fabulous. So hence, there's nothing that make, that gives me that extra incentive to say, I'm going to go lose the 15 pounds. And if you lose you can't 20 tell pounds me, today, how are you going to feel I'm going to feel fabulous. Okay. Listen, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I can't get past how y'all just be sizing us up. Like, you size us up hold on, hold on. every day. Well, forget the show. Hold on, listen, to this. listen. Forget the handshake. If y'all so interested in what he's wearing, forget the handshake. Just go down there and grab it. Oh, you ain't got to. Oh, you don't have to, Roberta. You don't have to. I just no. can't get over how y'all size us no. up. We don't have to do all that. Because let me talk to you for 16 hours. You're going to send me a picture of it. I ain't even got to ask. It's what they do now. I know, but, right? Here. But what about what I see? Uh, originally, the, the bottom line is if I see you and you are whatever size you are, if I'm attracted, I'm going to talk to you, exactly. it's not going to matter at that point because I see what's there. So I can expect that what I see is what I'm going to get. Now, you may take something off and a little more might show, but I'm already attracted to you. Whether you're big, plus size, small, or thin, if you have it that's going to get my attention, then you can get it. Yeah, you, you can get it. But you, can, you, know, so, so you can get it. Right about now. This is what he's saying. This is the end of the show. Sorry, we got to go, but come back, come back. We still have smooches with us. Uh, oh, when we, when we come back, next show, next week, we're going to hear from our resident sexual therapist, Nikki Felt, and she's going to talk to us about, she's going to give us some clinical things about this whole big, small, whatever thing. Single on a Saturday night right here at Key Gray Seafood and Steak Restaurant. We'd like to thank everybody who helps us put the show together. That is Q's Hair Boutique, 5815 North Broad Street, and Austin Five Photography, Howard Gilliam Jr., JT Ideally Productions, Howard Gilliam, what's it, Gilliam Productions, and don't forget to check out Issues, 160 South 60th Street, where she can take care of all your girly wants and needs. Y'all like my bracelet, because I do. That is, I know. oh my gosh, this is, that's sharp. I like that, wow. Go on, what's it called again? Issues a shooty. Issues a shooty. Now you gotta go check it out. And if you like my oh, hair, of course it's Q's hair boutique. We're gonna see you next. <laughs> we are all just glammed out here. We're gonna see you next week. Tuned, stay tuned in because Smooches will be here. We're gonna talk all about what it takes to be a full size model. Full figure. Full figure model, not full size. Oh. <laughs> like grown. Oh yeah, full size. You gonna be a full size. You gonna be a grown model right here on single on a Saturday night. We got it all, y'all.